Board of Selectmen, Tuesday, August 2nd. Ask everyone to please rise for the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. We will entertain a motion to approve the payroll warrant for 8216 and the expense warrant for 8216. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Anyone all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to approve the select minutes for 42916. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Nope. Anyone all in favor? Aye. Entertain a motion to acknowledge the minutes and reports of the EMS for July 16th and the Cultural Council for 37 and 66. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Announcements. Volunteers are needed to serve on several town committees, including the Advisory Committee, Local Public Access, Conservation. A letter of interest should be submitted to the Board of Selectmen, 6 Central Street, Brookfield, Mass., 41506, or simply email selectmen at brookfieldma.us, or you can physically call this office and Karen will help you at 508-867-2930, extension 10. State Representative Donnie Berthian will be holding office hours from 5 to 6, Tuesday, September 6th at the Town Hall. Any other announcements? Hearing none, anybody wish to address the Board this evening? I will. Would you like me to come to the table? I think you could, yeah. <laughs> hey, we met with the, the advisory board met last night, and we discussed the bridge, yeah. the Chapter 90 money. Yeah. And we'd like to see if you can use the Chapter 90 money. I know you owe some money on Mill Street and Weber Road, correct? Yeah, we had that discussion at the last meeting. Um, Briefly. We don't know where we're at with that, okay. the payouts. Me, in a knee-jerk reaction to the email that I saw from Marie uh, this morning, is that we're only uh, the second month into this fiscal year, and to physically drain all of Chapter 90, I think it's detrimental to the mm -hmm. town. So I think we have to assess once we find a figure. Uh, in regards to that, we did have two engineers come out Thursday. I uh, haven't got word back for that, but Herb has been working. If you've seen the emails, he's requesting more jersey mm -hmm. barriers. If we can put it into one lane and then lights for both sides through the state, and he is being proactive. I was down when he did both the uh, inspections. Okay, but getting back to the financial part of it again, yeah. we got 167000 that came in this year, and we have about 8000 left from last year. Mm -hmm. um, have a seat. Welcome. So, my point is, I think spending that money right now, I don't know how much it's going to cost for the bridge because you haven't had the engineers out there. I understand all that. But I think before you start hitting the stabilization, I think you should really consider taking that money out of Chapter 90 because that's what that money's for. And I know behind the scenes, they were looking to buy another piece of equipment down the highway. And I think that can wait. I think this bridge is more important financially. Well, it, it, is, taking it, out of stabilization. It, it, it is, but at the same time, I don't want to put the town in a hole mm -hmm. two months into the fiscal year of draining all the Chapter 90. So again... We'll well, what else you got in mind for that Chapter 90 money then? Again, we, we have to find out how much we have, how much the project's going to cost, and then we'll evaluate it when we get there. Because I think it was last week, I don't think the money was even certified. That's correct. That's that's that was, and, and that was yeah, the discussion. We're, we're spinning our wheels, Dave, yeah. over and over. It's, no, 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 no. I'm just, we just, yeah, no. I, but it's the same exact conversation we had last week. No, no, we're just talking about what we, the options we have. We also have 35000 in the road reconstruction. We can use that as well. Clarence? Well, one, we don't know what we have because we don't have it yet. Yeah. Well, it's going to be 167 if we went to the one, 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 right. three of it, so that, that's the one the one side. Yeah. And then, again, it was Highway's recommendation to use those $35,000, but again, I think it's very premature. Mm -hmm. to 100%. I think it is. Yeah. It's not premature. I'm just talking in advance no, before we, we, we do something. I'm not saying to, we're going to do it. I'm just, just putting it out there. Mm -hmm. Just rather premature. because you guys are talking stabilization, and we just had that discussion last night that... Yeah. We have, we have that money there, we should use it for we, that bridge. We got it last week as well, and nothing's changed in that week. Okay, well, I'm just saying what we discussed, and we're just bringing our recommendation to you. Mm -hmm. You can Thank take you. it for what it's worth. Anything else? No, that's good for right now. Right. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. On that topic, though, I'm hopeful that the second engineer is, I mean, he was, he came prepared, mm -hmm. and well, they came prepared. They had the drawings of the original bridge, and had studied it. 
um, and the idea of supporting it on a north-south uh, steelwork to go north-south underneath the bridge platform. I thought it was creative. And so I, I'm hopeful to see what he my, has to Like say. we said last week, my desire is to fix it instead of a temporary bridge. And I, we're, we're in a good place. Yes. Yeah. People, people are still working every day. Yep. Anybody else wish to address the board? Uh, item number one, uh, we do have interviews, one's at 5.30. Uh, but we do have questions uh, that was circulated. Um, Linda and Karen had put them together. I came in, uh, made an edit, it was put out. What's that? Joan had it. Yeah, Joan okay. had yeah. Well, she mm-hmm. had one, one question that she had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think the five questions are good. Um, I'm not opposed to asking anything above and beyond these questions if, if mm-hmm. the need arises. Yeah. Do we want just one person to ask five questions or do we want to go one after another? Or I would defer to Linda. She did the work. <laughs> Would you rather ask a question? I don't have a problem with that, and then I mean, then both of you could, you know, chime in oh, a little yeah, bit yeah. if you so want you, to. So you can ask each question, everyone, and we might piggyback off those questions. Um, my question to you, Linda, is you were charged a few weeks ago to solicit information um, on references. Were you oh, able to get references on? References? No, I had asked um, Carrie was bringing her references in, and I think Kathy was going to bring hers in also. So based on that fact, I don't think we should make a decision tonight. Oh, yeah. no, no. We'll just wait until we have, we have to look at our references. After tonight, yeah. um, I think you should make the calls to the references. Yeah. Okay, I will. And then report we have another meeting next week. Yep. Unless you want yep. to do it sooner. We're scheduling a meeting, but I think next week is good. Okay. Get back with the references, have a discussion, and then hire them. Mm-hmm. And these were the only two that had responded. Okay. Oh, All right, so I'm going to wait specifically to 5.30 just for, because of the posting, so we can move on with the other agenda. Do we have anything else? Yep, please? we'll go down the list. Um, item number three, we'll move to following the private roads. Uh, tis the season. I'm going to entertain a motion to uh, approve the plowing of private roads at Burnell Ave. Draper, Joe Goddard, Lakeside Ave, Lane 21A, Mel Lane, Oak Ave, and Ward Street. I will make that motion. Second. Uh, the only discussion that I want to have is there, I believe there were two from the email that I saw that needed work. There were two that need work that will be getting letters, and if they do repair them, then we'll bring it back to you to vote on them. One of those and the is Chestnut, that's down by me, and I don't know where the other one is. One of what? Then? No, but Chestnut. Chestnut and Forest, yeah. those two. Oh, those are both down Forest by was habitual where they haven't done anything in, in the Chestnut past couple of years. Uh, but the beauty of this is, so for those that are listening, we actually have grindings from 148 mm-hmm. that we've secured. So, you know, we can physically bring those out to there from her yeah. recommendation. Okay. So that might help in those two roads. Latender, it's Latender and... Um, but we're, we're not voting on that tonight. So for those, for those residents on those two roads, you know, reach out mm-hmm. to either the selectman's office or the highway department. To I got a question. Yep. How about Marshfield? Is that on that list? I know. Marshfield. It's Marshfield, isn't it? It's off of, it's off of yeah. Oak. It's only one house down there, but it just got sold. Well, no, it's, it's not going to be on that list because we have a policy that if they're not over two houses, we don't do it. Oh, okay. All right. Can you please repeat the names of the streets that are approved for this? Community? I will actually be better than that. Okay, great. Perfect. That's the spelling. Thank you. Yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item number four, appointment. Another volunteer has stepped forward for the Conservation Commission. I'll entertain a motion to appoint Mr. Dean uh, to expire June 30th, 2019 as a member of the Conservation Commission. I'll make a motion. Second. Any discussion? Anyone all in favor? Aye. 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 It has to go to Mikey's here tonight. Item number five, uh, first and foremost, I'm gonna entertain a motion to rescind the uh, 1020 vote to approve a special permit for North Bass uh, Alliance uh, for the East of Quay Bar for 8716. They're gonna change the date. Uh, not the date, they're gonna change the location. Yeah. 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 So I'll entertain a motion to rescind. I'll make a motion. Second. Any discussion? Yeah. Anyone all in favor? Aye. Aye. And then I will entertain a motion to approve a special permit for the same entity, same date, but on South Pond. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Item number six, I will entertain a motion to sign a statewide contract for a rock salt. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? What was the... What it's was a it? state bid. Uh, annual tonnage is 1500 I don't see the price on here, but it is a state bid, so we have to go with the mm -hmm. price that they have. I think this is just a formality to go with them. But um, Cindy requested that we sign it. Yep. I'm right. not opposed to it. I don't see a price. All I see is the, the uh, tonnage. And it's a state bid, so. Do we have a motion? Yep, we we'll have the motion. Second. Any discussion? Are you not all in favor? Aye. 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 Well, item number seven. Now, we talked about this at the annual town meeting. <coughs> Um, Ms. Mahoney actually brought up the fact that we did discuss this. We did research it, but we didn't do anything about it because of the cost factor and we didn't feel that it was needed. Unfortunately, um, due to the laws and we don't back up our emails, we have to have some type of backup and this facility would do that. Um, months ago, it was about three or four months already, time does fly, we priced out Tantasco backing up and we priced out this company backing up. This company was cheaper. Um, it came with a two, and we confirm that it's a two time, not one and one. The five thousand and seventeen fifty, we have to pay both at the same time. Five thousand is to set it up, and the seventeen fifty is the yearly fee. It's going to cost that much every year. Well, we, we thought that they might waive the seventeen fifty, mm -hmm. but they said they won't. Correct. We have to okay. pay it. So I'll entertain a motion to approve the uh, sixty-five, and this was approved at the town meeting, if yeah. you remember correctly. I'll make the motion for the uh, six thousand seven hundred fifty dollars to virtual town and school. So, licensing agreement. So, so we have a motion before. Um, it includes beyond the backup as well, or am I? The backup, and didn't you say that's something to do with posting meetings too? Kim? Well, it's um, for everything that's on, they redo the whole website. They're gonna, it's going to be okay. a lot more user friendly. Most of your so. communities, when, when I was getting ready to retire back then, a lot of the communities were already using this virtual. Well, that's, that's why I say. It, it goes beyond the backup. So the, 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 oh, the, yeah. the, the yes. annual, annual hosting and support charge is a seventeen fifty. It'll commence when the website goes live and be due thirty days after receipt of invoice. And it's quite a bit I think when I remember back it's quite a bit that goes along with it too, this virtual town hall. And and then the other question is that my my town government stays or goes? I think if I remember correctly, I think he's going to try to keep it. I think he can keep it. Okay. It's been a while since we discussed it. Yeah. I mean, we do have to move up with the time, so. Go for it. Yeah. So phase one's website design, create site homepage design and layout, create subpage design and layout, modify design. Phase two is the implementation. Phase three is full content development. Phase four is user training. Phase five is websites de website development, and that's the five thousand dollars, and that's the mm -hmm. initial setup. Mm -hmm. setup. Yeah. And then the 1750 goes to the hosting support and application. And then you said Mr. George is gonna be the yeah, and yes. Okay. Do you have further discussion? No. Are you not all in favor? Aye. No. Well, item number eight, signing of the Council of Aging grant document. Uh, it's a grant allocation. It's the one they get every year. Chicago Wilson brought it up for you to sign. I think she signed the wrong place in the morning. Well, she out. did, but okay. I, I wanted it. I did. Present my signatures appear below our authorized Council of Aging attachment. Attachment B, formula grant application budget, and hereby agrees to its submission. So it's an application for elder affairs for a grant application. So I'll entertain a motion to allow the chair to sign the formula um, grant allocation. I'll we'll make that a motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Any not all in favor? Aye. 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 There is actually no other correspondence. We do have one correspondence. A notice of public hearing on cable television rates. Yes, folks, they're going to go up again. <laughs> uh, pursuant to Master General Law, uh, they have posted a scheduled date for Wednesday, August 24th, 10 a.m at 1000 Washington Street, hearing room 1E in Boston, Mass. Um, if you need 
more information on that. It is in this office, and we do have a report that hopefully we'll post that as well. So the rates are going up again. That's the only assumption to hold the public hearing to raise rates, isn't it? Hopefully they'll see that the economy isn't that well. Yeah. All right, any other correspondence or other? You good? No, we're good. All right, I see it being 5.30. How can I make the assumption that you are, how you pronounce the last name? Okay, if you could just come up to the hot seat, warm it up for you. <laughs> Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. My name is Stephen Comtor, Chairman of the Board of Selectmen. Um, I don't know if you know Lincoln. And then Mr. Snyder. Hi, nice to meet you. You did hear, we were privy to the list that uh, we have five questions. Linda will be asking the questions. Okay. Don't feel nervous, not a big deal. Um, <laughs> if we want to ask any questions, we'll snowball off of it. We will. Did you bring a list of references? I did. Okay. I also bought a, brought a um, full resume, Linda. I'm not sure. Oh, if if different from what you would If I can steal one yeah. of those, because I just saw the email. This is the resume? Yeah. That's the resume and the references are on the bottom. Can you do that with this one? I have more copies of the email. Oh, you do? Oh, oh, oh. Do you have three? I sure do. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a plus. Thank you. She's prepared. Look at this new one. I tried. Can I get a paper clip too, Karen, please? So before I turn it over to Linda, thank you very much for your interest in coming with me. And the floor is Linda's now. All right. Can we just, I just want to just go into it real quick. Sure. from the public sector position to municipal position? Um, that is my father's doing. <laughs> my father's been very active in um, the community for as long as I can remember, and he's been pushing and pushing and pushing me for 20 years. Get involved, get involved, get involved. And I went my own way and had my kids, and um, my dad recently passed, so it's now it's time to listen to his his words for me, I think. Do you, do you understand the difficulties between and the differences between the public and? Well, <clears throat> yes. Okay. Um, I understand there are some things that I'll, I would need to learn, some municipal laws and things like that, but um, I'm a quick study. I don't think that it would be difficult. I also um, I make a point to learn my job. To, to the best of my ability. I mean, there's knowledge out there, it's, it's just for me to find. Mm -hmm. So if I have a question, I, I don't have a problem finding the correct answer and using resources that are available. Mm -hmm. okay. No, I think that's okay. very good. Um, we have, it comes up by every year, there's different schools that the assessors have to attend and you know different classes to become certified. And eventually, with this position, it takes three years for certification. So um, I would be willing to attend uh, the school at UMass in order to become a certified municipal accountant. The school is held three days in March and it takes three years for the certification. And the town pays, you know, pays for you to go to school. So you would be willing to go to these classes. I am 100% for further education. Um, mm -hmm. I am one of those people who was not able to take advantage of college right out of high school. Yeah. So I had my children, got divorced, 
and when I was 38, I decided it was time to go to college. And I have to be honest with you, I don't think I would have appreciated college at the age of 18 as much as I did at the age of 38, um, mostly because I would pay for it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I wanted to get the most the for my money. I was on the 20-year plan too. Okay, <laughs> so, you know, I appreciated it. I, I loved that um, my experience out in the world was very helpful to um, the 20-somethings who were yeah. all a part of my classes. And um, so, yes, I would be willing to do any further education that w that's available. I know occasionally there's other things that come up too, you know, different meetings and things, and it's always, you know, networking, and it's mm -hmm. always good to get out there and do this networking. Anything I can learn. Yeah. Anything I can learn, because I want to soak it up like yeah. a sponge because it'll only help me somewhere down the road. Good. That's good enough. Okay. Okay. Um, what uh, accounting software are you proficient in? I am 100% proficient in QuickBooks. Mm -hmm. um, there is also a program called Mitchell One, which is mostly automotive, so yeah. that wouldn't yeah. really pertain here. Um, all the Microsoft products are, you know, I've been using yeah. since the beginning of time. And uh, mm, Peachtree, I've looked at, not real familiar with. Uh, ADP Systems, um, ADP does a lot of programming for automotive. And corporate accounting. Yeah. So I have, I've gone anywhere from a basic just punch in numbers program yeah. to um, manual accounting programs where you have to t literally tell the machine what you what you wanted to do. I started out in accounting with uh, paper, just like yeah. you know before yeah. before computers. Because <laughs> so we use here we use it's called Vega, and it's used by the treasurer. And it's also used by the tax collector. What we want to eventually do is get everybody, you know, networked in together. Okay. And it's a it's municipal financial accounting system. Okay. Um, and you're confident you can learn new financial software with supervision in a timely manner. Absolutely. Okay. Right. The position requires a 20-hour work week with occasional meetings. And on a weekly schedule, would you be able to work five hours for four days a week? Yes. Yes, at this point I'm very flexible. Okay. And the town and the town hall staff frequently looks to the accountant for instruction, which requires people good people skills. Um, do you have experience being the go-to person, or I know you comfortable in this role? I think uh, I think I have been the go-to person since the day I was born. <laughs> so. <That's sad>. uh, <laughs> You know, or let me rephrase that. Okay, Since the you. day my sister was born, okay? That's even sadder. <laughs> um, so I'm very used to um, not only work people, but people in the community coming to me. Um, I volunteered a lot. So I'm okay taking the reins. Uh, I'm confident. Um, I like to empower people. Um, so I like to teach. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if it's a matter of um, somebody doesn't understand something that's going on, I, I would, I, I'd, I'd like to find a way to teach yeah. them the right way to do things or their way of doing things because everybody does things differently. And um, as far as like people from the town, they're everyday people just like I am. Sure. So what's the big deal? Yeah, so Clarence, do you have any questions? Yeah, the, the only thing is back to this is being part-time and more like this is... Um, the idea of looking for a full-time or anything like that. It, this fits with what you're looking for as far as the hours. My long-term goal is to uh, build up my private bookkeeping company. Um, I am currently down to one uh, forever client. I've been with him for eight years. Um, but I've done, you know, here and there, I've taken on clients and lost clients. And, okay. take, and then I took a full-time job, so that kind of went to the wayside. and. I really want to focus on my personal and private bookkeeping. Um, so a 20 hour a week w is a good base for me. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have any other questions? Mm -hmm. No. And then also um, the town accountant is a, um, required to follow um, different mass general laws pertaining to the position. Mm -hmm. And we have them here. We have also the full, you know, the if you we can give it to you. Right, so that's in the job description. Yeah. The whole full yeah. job description. Yeah. Plus, you have two of them. Yes, we have two of them here. 
And also there's a whole page which tells all the sections of Mass General Law, you know, which are responsible for all. So you need to look at that. You have uh, that accounting that laws are, I guess, some extra ones. Not just um, Massachusetts. Uh, that, that generally accepted um, accounting principles are, yeah. you know, uh, pretty much international. Yeah. Um, so Massachusetts law is le learning little tweaks and here and there. Yeah. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm, I'm very familiar it, with the state website. It's, it's yeah. definitely become so, a public versus yeah. municipal. Yeah. 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 Okay, do you, do you have uh, any questions for us? Mm -hmm. um, what is the pay range? <laughs> I didn't even ask. <laughs> I don't think we had that discussion in open meeting. Uh, okay. It was set. I think that's something we'll have to have a discussion with at the next meeting. Yes, it's the next meeting. And I think I think the only discussion we did have with the advisory committee would be based on experience. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So we'll see what the uh, references come yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. I do have um, on my references. I have a personal. I have um, several business uh, references and also my long-term bookkeeping client. So with your question to us, I guess my question to you is where are you at with a pay scale? What are you comfortable with? Because um, some people will apply and be way too high. And I, I, I left a job making 22 um, in, in June. However, um, it, was a, it was a drive to work, so I have to take that into consideration. Um, my my responsibility level was um, uh, not worth what they were paying me, <laughs> so uh, I'm willing to you know to fluctuate a little bit. Um, coming coming to this interview today, yep. what was the dollar amount you had in your mind? I could not take less than fifteen. I could not survive for less than that. I don't believe we're going to pay less than fifteen. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll, you have someone come and say forty, or it's just unrealistic. Yeah. Um, well, you know, you can't look at it uh, based on a part-time position like that. You can't really look at it on an annual salary because it's not fair. I mean, a person who works a forty-hour work week. Uh, will generally work 40 to 50 hours and that's that's kind of what you're basing your salary on you know um, versus where, you, where you're looking at more of a you know 15 to 25 from what I was reading on the on the website yeah. hour a week position you have to have a lot of flexibility there and I understand that municipalities can't afford to pay what the what the private oh, yeah. sector is paying mm -hmm. and uh, I would disagree with that so municipality is a little higher than the private oh, yeah. sector. Well, depending on what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But, but not you know? my philosophy. Yeah. But, okay. And oh, we, I forgot also to mention, along with this position too, um, we're going to be hiring a clerk for 15 hours a week also. Now, why would be the reason, just my own curiosity, if, what would be the we, reason for we, not rolling it together? Uh, if we don't need it, we're good, but the uh, the desire is the turnover. If you were sick, you're on vacation, we still have somebody okay, in the office that processes okay. warrants and whatnot. Okay, so that was one thing our other, our other um, Tom Cotton had. She always wanted a clerk, and you know, there was never, you know, money in the budget. But she, she was also church. giving, you know, getting 40 hours yeah, a week. Yeah, she was getting 40 hours a lot, a week. A lot of different factors. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we, we restructured it. Gotcha. Gotcha. But, you know, they would help out, you know, doing a lot of different postings and things like that. You know, just be more of a backup person. And whoever, I mean, we have somebody now that was working for five hours a week, and I don't know if she's going to continue on with us or not. But, um, you know, I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult yeah. for you. So, um, so probably whoever came in, you know, if they would have some training, and, you know, after you once learned, then you could probably train them also. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming available immediately, two weeks? Yep, okay. yep one of that. Okay. And you know, if, it, if in the beginning you need more time than, you know, 15, 20 hours a week, I'm totally open to it till I learn the position in full. Okay, um, and, okay, and the, the one right now, we have an interim um, town accountant. She just retired from the town of Chowdhury. So she said she would stay on for a while and help you out. Oh, nice. Yeah, she said she would. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm excited. I, you know, um, I think I put in my in my resume. I, I left Brimfield with these grand schemes of being, you know, the big accountant in the big city, and I did it. <laughs> I did it, and I came home. I, I want to be in a small town. Yeah. I want to make a difference. That's good. That's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. And we'll right be here. We'll be in touch. All right. Okay. Literally, Thanks probably so right much. after our meal. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. It was nice to meet you. Same here. <laughs>
Nice to see you, Kurt. Nice to see you, Linda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is our, I think our other candidates in? Mm -hmm. Sure, somebody up there. Linda here. Here's another copy, and then here, let me give this to her. Here's a copy for the, for, um, Oh, Kara got one. This is for Kathy. For Kathy. Oh, okay. Do you have, um, could I just take the clip to you, please? Don't put all these in here. Do you need one fire so you take the clip? I'm good. I'm just going to leave this for you. What's going to be the next step for the bridge repair stuff? Good, good. This is my husband, right? I hope you do it. You can do it. No need to be nervous. I'm not. I like being interviewed by my neighbor. That's really. That's good. So you shouldn't be nervous. But now you're on the other side of the divide. So you know, it's like there's another whole town. You shouldn't be nervous. Hi, so Clarence, Steve, come to our Linda Lincoln. Uh, we've uh, strategized that Linda's going to ask all five pre-prepared questions. We might snowball off those questions at the end if you have any questions for us. And then um, we might even snowball into the last candidate with more questions off of your questions. Okay. So the floor is yours, ma'am. Okay. Uh, one of the first question is, why did you want to make the transition from the public sector to the municipal position? Well, I was in nonprofit. Um, and this was available. I mean, I was laid off in December, and mm -hmm. it's been you know, difficult. So I'm looking at things that are, I've applied for a couple of public jobs. Yeah. Um, I'm for a couple of them. Um, I did work for the state, um, two different places. I worked for um, Worcester State University. I worked for New Mass Medical School. So pretty familiar with um, with state operations. In what and, capacity? Um, at um, uh, Worcester State College, I was a counselor. Um, that was way back in the day. And um, at UMass Medical School, I ran the uh, Walk to Cure Cancer, and I was a development officer there, grant writer. So, thanks. And you know, you get to be very familiar with the, especially when the governor would sign the budget, um, and um, you were like be furloughed for three months, but you would still be working. But then yeah. you get, it was really interesting. Yeah. That was back in the seventies. Um, so you know, I am familiar with. You know, I've worked for the town before in a consulting capacity. Yeah. Um, familiar with a lot of the needs of the town mm -hmm. because my husband's on the conservation commission. Yeah. He suggested that I apply. So okay. <laughs> it was his idea. Um, and um, you know, I'm still looking in the nonprofit sector. Not so much as the uh, in the nonprofit agencies because those are really tough. Yeah. Um, but you know, so I'm open at this point. Okay, um, are you, we have, um, there's a school for, you know, like accountants and things, mm -hmm. and it's held in UMass, it's, three, it's, it's held every March, and it's a three-day three course, mm -hmm. and also um, you're required within three years to get your certification, so are you willing to further your education and go to school? Sure. Okay. My last degree I got in 2007, so I'm going to go back to school. Not afraid of it <laughs> anymore. Anymore. <laughs> anymore. Okay. Um, are you uh, familiar with any um, accounting software or anything? You know, I've used Excel access. Um, I am not an accountant. I'll yeah. be, I'm yeah. an administrator. Yeah. So, um, uh, what I used to use was uh, was uh, non profit, not not non profit, um, mm -hmm. but fundraising software. Yeah. Um, taught myself that yeah. it was a um, black box product. And because when I um, got the job at Overlook, there was no development department. There was no recording. Mm -hmm. um, there was nothing of coding, restricted gifts, or any of that. I was handed a manila folder full of copied checks and said, okay, these are, you know, they weren't acknowledging, there was no policies, no procedures. Yeah. So um, I bought a cheap software with my company credit card, $300, and started putting that in. So. What the CFO and I just, you know, kind of came up with was we got some policies and procedures for coding the um, the charitable gifts. Um, we had a, a form that would be filled out would go with each check mm -hmm. or each card, online donation yeah. or regular credit mm -hmm. card donation. We'd restrict it or unrestrict it to the different funds. For example, if you made a donation to um, the memory care unit mm -hmm. in memory of someone, um, it would be coded in one way and it would go to one side of the house. We had about seven different ones. And um, then prepare them, enter them on an Excel file, 
um, and then I'll enter them into the database. Monthly, I'd run reports and reconcile it with the business office. So they would put it into their software, I would put it into my software, and we'd run the reports and reconcile it. So, so I think in the other kind of account, I mean, there were the check numbers and all of that stuff was going into there and it was making the ads and, mm -hmm. and making and reports about what was restricted where. So I think probably there would be a pretty good translation into that. Alrighty. Uh, right here we use what's called VADAR. It's a municipal finance accounting system. It's already used by the treasurer <coughs> and uh, the collector. Eventually what they want to do is you know, they want to net network them all together. Um, are you confident that you will be able to learn, say, finance mm -hmm. software with, you know, with some supervision? Yeah. I mean, I taught myself the last software. Oh. So okay. I did tutorials and oh. like went online and learned it. So I'm sure. I'm pretty computer savvy. I mean, so. And there is training. training. Yeah, there I mean, training. I didn't have any training. There was nobody to train me. So um, I was on basically online trying to use videos. Well, we have right now like an interim um, accountant. She's got retired and she is willing to stay on a while and train. Oh, we have training in beta as well through. Yeah, we get through, through beta. beta. We have training through beta. Um, the position requires 20 hours a week. Mm -hmm. Uh, would you be able to work, um, say, four, uh, four days or five hours a week? Mm -hmm. And then there would be also a case for some evening meetings yeah. and things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. The town hall staff looks to an accountant for, inter for information all the time. They're in the town council office. Uh, and it requires good people skills. And I can say that you have some of the different positions you've had before. Good, um, do you have the experience of being a go-to person, uh, and are you comfortable in that role? I ran my whole department, so okay. anytime they had a question, they had to come to me. I didn't have any okay. go-between. So, um, you know, like I said, I worked really closely with the business office. We did reconciliations monthly. Okay. Um, any grant accounting that was done, I worked with the hiring manager, and you know, the, the all of that did the budgets. Yeah. Um, so. Worked really closely with people and, and did that. Okay. And I think that would be fun. Do any of you have some questions to ask him? I have a wild question. Okay. <laughs> because I'm looking at your resume at Overlook. There was a gentleman by the name of Orville Harold. You may, because he. I know his name. All right. He was very generous and donated a lot of money to the church next door for the addition. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find his, his daughters. And the last I knew, one of them worked at that overlook. just. I don't even know who works there anymore. I couldn't even tell you. Nope, not a problem. Failed, failed the interview. Yeah. No. 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 Well, it here's the just... thing. Um, there have been so many people laid off and let go. That's um, what I was told. And so outsourced. That... If she was a nurse, yep. she'd probably still be there. But if you'd have to know her last name. Yeah. That, that, um, everybody's and struggling for yeah. her last name. At the yeah. Moment, so. Um, I was and the, hus the historian of the place who knew everything yeah. was laid off the year before me. Oh, okay. oh my goodness. Um, and uh, he was the past grandmaster, Al Ames. He was the vice president of the foundation. He knew everybody and everything. Al Ames. Yeah. Um, he's actually one of my references. So. Oh, um, actually, we don't have a sheet of references. Oh, yeah, we oh yeah, I have it right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Albert Timothy Ames. He is. Um, Past Grandmaster of Massachusetts, he was the Vice President of the Foundation. Um, he was one of the senior management that was like all. I'm looking for a trail to see if I can find He, um, you know, he is very, very well, you know, well versed in who's what. Um, somebody else that I would, you know, if she, if the woman is still working there and you know her last name, no, I, that's if the you problem. don't know her last name, yeah. then I was I would say you could call somebody in HR, like you could call Trish Pratt in HR. Um, you know, the thing is, I would, if I was still there, I would be able to probably find it really quickly for you. Well, I guess um, thank you for a couple of minutes. You're names. welcome. But, um, yeah, there's a lo been a lot of changeover in people. There were people that were there, you know, 40 years. Sure. That were outsourced. That's what so, I mean. yeah. it's yeah. just been, um, it's been a, a little crazy. So, the only people that I kept were the nurses and the CNAs fully and some of the dining people. Thank you. It was just like well, so. Well, a two-fold question, um, just simply because we asked the other uh, applicant uh, availability and then realistic pay scale, which you're looking for. Well, I don't know what your pay scale, you know, is. Um, I was 
interviewing for another part-time position and the pay was 25. Um, there was supervision there, it's $25 an hour. Um, so I really don't know what your range is. I have no idea and I know that the town is, you know, so, I mean, you can tell me what your range is. We haven't had a yeah, discussion, have, yeah. so there's gonna be based on experience, um, but we wanna be realistic with yeah, you. Yeah, um, well, you know, I'm not, I'm certainly not looking to make the same money that I was making at Overlook. <laughs> I will tell you that. Um, it's more of a, like, and I am, I was up front with Linda, I am also interviewing for two other full-time jobs uh, at another level. So. And we're not going to make a decision until next week, yeah. so I don't know if that yeah. affects. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, and then um, availability? Availability would be soon. Okay. Yeah, pretty soon. Okay. Do you, uh, also, the time, I'm going to give you the job description also. Great, thank and you. And plus, I was going to give you, um, the town accountant has to follow certain mass general laws from the Department of Revenue, so I was going to give that to you all. Okay. Now, do you have any questions for us that you'd like to ask? Um, yes, I'm interested. This used to be a full-time position, and um, what was the decision? What was the decision well, to cut the hours? We had talked, I had talked to our auditor, who was putting in his mm -hmm. with us a lot, and he thought with the town of our size of, you know, 3,400, he thought that uh, 20 hours a week would be good. And we are also going to probably be hiring, we have money to hire a clerk. A clerk yeah. Yeah. So that's why he said 20 hours and then, and then 15. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's why you know, we're going to do like that. Um, what do you think the most important thing for this position to jump into when they get there? I think I know what I want, would think, but I'd like to know what, what your perspective Can is. Can you rephrase the question? Mm -hmm. What would be the priority for this position when they start? The priority tasks. I, I think Joan's got us there. Yeah, Joan. Yeah. But, yeah, but it, what I would say is that the warrants on a title well, be able to But but I, I I see as her being a resident, she realizes things have been wrong. Reconciliations. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is a huge issue. Yeah. But, right. But we're in a, a heck of a lot better place than yes. we were a couple of years ago. So I, I just I think just knowing the position yeah. is the priority. And just for really me. keeping on top of and things. Yeah, you can't yeah. you can't let it fall through the cracks right. for two weeks. We have like oh, you know no. <laughs> we have like accounts you know accounts payable and um, when the accountant gets and the accountant you know does all of that and then they they're the ones that uh, print all the checks for that. And we have like every one week we have like um, the accounts payable and the next week it's a payroll. Right. And the um, oh, it's just the warrants right here. Yeah, the warrants right here. Warrants and, and reconciliation. And those the, are the, the two. treasurer, the treasurer does the payroll, and then both of you, you know, then she then it's turned over to you, and you both have to equal out even the payroll. Well, that's a lot of what I did every month was with the um yeah. the business office. We reconciled everything. Yeah. Sometimes we had to go digging for it, but it was reconciled within the hour. Yeah. So. You know, so um, we also um, have the school too, so there's a building that comes down from the school, even though we're regionalized. And that's all reconciliation. Yeah, yeah that is Huge, big word. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's a big task, and, and it is, um, and you got to do it. It is what it is. Yeah, right? it is what it is. I mean, you yeah. really need to do it. And, uh, so. Any other questions for us? Thank you, the answer most of it. All right, and well, we will make our decision next week. Okay. We will yeah. be in All contact. Right. And again, thank you very much for your, I don't know if it was you or Mike's desire. <laughs> well, I'm the one actually did it. Position. Hey, but you thank know. you both. Thank you. I'm finding, um, just being creative in my job search. Yeah. Yeah. The commute's great. There's no better place in Brookville. Yeah, no place. I can make it. There's a, no place else in Brookville except with, for Dollar General. So. With, with the well, a couple of cars. Yeah. When the bridge is in, I can make it here in two minutes, so you can yeah, try to get here in three. I know, I know. And it took good. it took about it took less than fifteen. Yeah. We'll get it open soon. And it's a good walk. I I walk it. I walk it sometimes too, Kathy. Yeah. It's, yeah. Walk. Yeah. it's, good it's actually really quiet. <laughs> Nobody's there. Yeah, I've heard so that. That's the okay. Posts I've seen. It they're is, having parties. It's nice and, and quiet. quiet. Yeah. I mean. Um, We've seen some pretty reckless driving in the past couple of years on the street. Especially like, with the flood. Head turn, sure. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. No, we actually see people passing. Oh, yeah. Oh, like oh, in the yeah. other lane. Yes. Like drag racing down the street. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank, Thank you for being here. Thanks for the dust. All right. Thanks first. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, so I think we're in a hurry up and wait situation. Yep. I think um, we maybe want to meet after I get 
do the references? Do we want to maybe get together again and decide what we're going to do? We can either do it in two days or we can do it Tuesday. I think we should get together maybe before Tuesday. I don't know how you feel, Karen. Sure. So today is Tuesday, so Friday morning, 9 a.m.? Friday Tuesday. Yeah. yeah, that sounds good. So can you post that, Karen? Right. And anything and that we have? have it in here. In here. Okay. And I will... Um, and I'll get in touch with the references. You definitely have to. That's huge. Oh, yep. sure. I know. 9 a.m. this Friday. And I will call. Yeah. Any other discussions? Entertain a motion to adjourn? I'll we'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Okay. You're not all in favor? Aye. Thank you. Everyone. Good. 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 Good